Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please help me to ho uh, introduce the host of the late night morning show, Danny Capala, the handsome Danny Capala. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first annual Late Morning Show with Danny Capala. Well, me. Uh, it's a real honor to have this possibility, even though I know most of you don't even watch. Uh, Mom always said the best uh, icebreaker was a quick joke, so I don't have any, so thanks, Mom. Uh, but if anyone was wondering, in the most recent Google searches, how to move to Canada was one of the most popular ones. Thanks, Trump. Just ahead, we have an interview with the basketball member, uh, Emma Sin, as well as a recap of the college fair last night. We have a great show just ahead. Ollie, let's take it for a walk. Well, it's been an awesome week so far, and that's just the start of it. Uh, just ahead, we have Emma Sin, but first, well, Ollie, could I get a little sad track going? I'd like to get a little serious. Um, I'd like to call this first segment uh, Thank You Cards from these few students. Thank you, school store mom, for making me show three forms of ID, my social security number, and my garage code, just so I can get my free birthday cookies. <laughs> Thank you. Eastview door clerk, for making me check in with my name just so you can radio over to the attendance office and telling them that I will be there in 20 seconds. <laughs> Thank you, MSHSL, for scheduling basketball games during school days so kids have a reason to miss tests. <laughs> we'll be right back after this commercial break with basketball player Emerson. The college education fair was held at ESU last night, with attendance of over 100 schools gathered in the ESU Commons to give ISD students a first taste of colleges they may be interested in. I caught up with guidance counselor Mr. Wannis to explain the importance of college education. You know, when you have over 115 colleges in one location, it's the perfect storm, you know, for, for everyone who just wants to either get their feet wet initially and to talk to someone about a potential school with the major they're thinking about, or for students that you know have a list already of six or seven schools and they, they know they want to visit, but they want to talk to an admissions rep beforehand and kind of get going that way. So it's a wide variety of students and parents that are here tonight, um, and it's, it's an awesome opportunity for any student. Not every student may seek a college education after high school, but for those who do, just remember, it's never too late or too early to start. Signing off for the forecast, this is Kevin. Welcome back to the Late Morning Show with Danny Coppola. I'm here with Emma Sin, varsity bas girls basketball captain. Emma, how'd the game go yesterday? Well, we won, which was, it was really fun. and It was a great experience because we got the first game out of the way and we beat North who, going to the game, they thought they could beat us, but we proved them wrong. Uh, I heard there were 18 fan buses that headed down to the Target Center. How was the atmosphere at the, at the arena? It was really fun to play in that because it was so intense and everyone was getting into the game, which was great. Mm -hmm. And just being under the big lights of that Target Center was... An awesome experience. Yeah. Great, yeah. Um, you know, you're playing Hopkins tomorrow, and I know you guys have played them once. Uh, what are your thoughts going into the game? It should be a really good game. Really, mm -hmm. it probably will come down to the last seconds, mm -hmm. which will make it interesting because they're a great, great team. And mm -hmm they'll give us some good competition. So everyone should come. All right, well, you heard it here. Everyone come out to tomorrow's game at the barn, as they call it. Uh, Emerson, everybody. Tuesday, March 15th, the Eastview Lightning defeated the Lakeville Panthers 52 to 35 in the state quarterfinals. This is the program's third victory over the rival Panthers this season. 
Leading the game was junior Rachel Ranke and Megan Wallstead. Rachel scored a total of 16 points, along with Megan scoring a total of 17 points. We caught up with Megan after the game to see what she had to say. Megan, you scored 18 points leading Eastview today. How did you feel when you went out there today? I felt pretty good. It's exciting with this atmosphere, and you know we just wanted to play as a team today, and I think we reached our goal. Um, with the tournament leading again on Thursday, what do you guys got to change? What do you guys got to do better in order to win the next game? Well, we're playing the number one team, Hopkins, so it's going to be a little more of a challenge, and we just have to work hard and practice and just focus on playing together as a team and having good defense, and hopefully we'll be able to get a good win. Eastview will play number one seed Hopkins in the semifinals. The game will take place March 17th at Williams Arena, approximately 6 o'clock. Don't forget to cheer on your favorite girls, Eastview. Signing off for the forecast, this is Kevin. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thank you for tuning in to the first late morning show with Danny Kapala. Everyone have a great rest of your day.